Hi and welcome. I'm going to show you how to make a recycled book tree. It's a really lovely activity to do at this time of year and it's so easy. And it also means that books that have got damaged spines um, and just really are going to go into the recycling um, can be put to really nice decorative use. And you can also choose books and themes and stories that perhaps are relevant to friends and family that they have an interest in, like a hobby or a sport. And the book I'm using today, um, as you can see, has had um, damage on the spine. What we need to do to start with is you need approximately 36 pages taken out of the book. Now, I, um, when I look in charity shops or thrift shops, um, which is where I usually get my books from. I tend to look for the ones that have got a glue um, binding to their spine. Um, they are a little bit easier to uh, take apart. I go for about 36 pages as I said. So you've counted your pages and then you need to try and remove it from the book which is a little bit like grappling with the telephone directory in the old days but once you've got there, it's, it's just one big thick wad of paper. Okay, so you've got your pages in front of you. You need to take the first one, bring it down in half, and then fold a really crisp line in that direction. Then you need to pick up on the same page in the corner and you need to fold it over again. But this time, you're trying to get flush with the spine and the edge and get a really neat, and sometimes I use the back of my nail just to, but you could use anything, you could use a ruler or something that would just give a really nice edge. It looks a little bit like a tie now and what you need to do at the base is you need to pick this tab up and put it across the bottom like that. So you almost have a sail and that's it, that really is, that's your first page and then you fold it outwards and you continue. With each page you do the same process. So again, really nice neat edge in half bring it in as near as you can get to that edge of the spine and again come down with a nice crisp edge and you can do this with anything you could do this with magazines brochures um, sometimes you get free brochures um, through the letterbox um, which would be nice and colourful and different size books too um, I tend to go for the hardback books um, as opposed to paperback, which tend to be um, a lot softer. But you know, you can try by all means. This is the beauty. You can have as much or as little imagination with making these trees as you want to. So you keep going with exactly the same throughout the whole pile that you have taken out. Now what you will find as this process goes on is that it's lovely in the beginning because you've only got sort of a few pages and then as you can imagine you start getting to 20 pages, 25 pages and it becomes quite a thick, particularly at the top here because obviously all this paper is, is being twisted and folded over and it just means that you have to perhaps just maybe get a ruler or something to really get these top edges as clean as you possibly can. Don't worry like that if you hear something obviously it may come slightly away from the glue at the top of the page it's absolutely fine it's not going to make any difference. So as you can see already you start building up this lovely um, shape to your Christmas tree and here's one that's finished 
You can decorate these. I've put some examples here. You can stick on snowflakes if you wanted to. Maybe just one simple one at the top. You can also get some spray glue and then you can sort of throw glitter and sequins and that gives a really lovely sparkly effect. Anyway, thanks and I hope you make some beautiful creations this Christmas.